Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this fresh polished makeup in under 10 minutes. This is all about adding subtle color and just enhancing and defining your features. So let's get started. First step is skincare. We are going to do a few layers of light hydration starting with the face mist. This is the MAC Fix Plus. Going over this with a moisturizer. I'm using the Forest Essentials Sanjeevni Elixir. This is a beautiful moisturizer especially if you've got combination skin. It's hydrating but it's not greasy. It has this really silky finish almost like a primer so it really helps your makeup blend. So I'm just applying this all over my face taking it down to my neck and just giving myself a little bit of a face massage just to boost the circulation and that's going to boost the glow on your skin as well time to go in with a base product I've chosen one which has a bit of light reflection which is not very high on coverage and make sure you're using a moist brush to blend it if you've got dehydrated skin you can do another mist uh, just to moisten your skin once again and you can see the foundation is blending just so easily and giving you that really healthy looking finish Going in with one of my favorite concealers, you can see how well loved this is. This is the L'Oreal True Match and you see where I'm placing it. I'm placing it in the inner corner and the outer corner, a bit around the nose and mouth to conceal redness. You want to only use it in areas where you really need the coverage so that your base looks quite natural. If you apply lots of product, there's really no way around it. Your skin will show that there's a lot of product on your your skin so this is a technique I like to use only use tiny amount of products use more of skincare and less of your makeup to achieve that healthy dewy looking fresh looking skin and makeup will stay better as well when you've got skin that is well hydrated and well prepped so use your moisturizers use your mists use foundations and concealers which have a hydrating formula and and your skin is going to look really fresh and healthy. Next step is powder and I like to use powder only in my t-zone and under eyes just to make sure that my skin doesn't get oily and to keep my concealer in place. I don't powder my entire face because I prefer a more dewy finish. Going in with a blush, I've chosen a color which is not a very bright pink. It's like a earthy pink, little bit of gold shimmer. So I'm going to use this product as my blush. I'm not going to use a separate highlighter and I'm going to use this on my eyes as well as an eyeshadow. Now it's important that you choose a color which is not too pink because a very bright pink may not be super flattering on the eyes but something like this which is quite sheer, quite neutral, not really bright actually just gives you that whisper of color which looks really flattering. Defining your brows makes a massive difference. I've got a brow pencil by MAC and two options for brow gel. I'm going to go in with the Glossier one but the other one I showed by Benefit is also really good. So for the brows I like to enhance and really fill in the top part of the brow, the arch of the brow because that really gives a nice lifted effect to your face. I'm using the brow pencil by MAC which I really like. It's not too pigmented, it's not too dry just the right amount of pigment and working in short strokes always in direction of hair growth and then to finish I'm going to use the brow gel and I'm really working this in like different directions to thicken each individual brow hair and it'll give you like a feathered really nice voluminous look. Coming to eyeliner, I've chosen a really soft brown color and the reason I love browns is that they look very natural. It almost doesn't really look like you're wearing liner but you still get that definition and that lifted look that you get by defining your top lash line. So I'm just going over with my finger to diffuse the line to make it just really really soft and really natural. Also when you are in a hurry in the morning when you're getting ready, you don't have time to 
do very precise and neat eyeliner so a softer color like a brown and then using your fingers or a brush to smudge it just makes the process so much easier and quicker next going to curl my lashes and make sure I put on a generous coating of mascara brows and lashes make such a massive difference to the overall you know you just look more put together when your lashes and your brows are well defined so i always make sure i do these two even if i don't do anything else Make sure you check the description box. I'm listing all the products I have used here and I'm also suggesting some alternatives in case the products are not available in India or in case some products are high end and may not suit everyone's budget. So make sure you check the description box for alternatives to the products that I have used in case the ones that I've used are not available to you. Coming to the lips, I'm using some of my all time favorites this is the lip liner in sore by mac and this has been a favorite of mine for i don't know seven eight years it's a nude pink uh, mac lip liners are amazing they're so pigmented they have a beautiful matte finish so you can see this is such a nice natural everyday color i'm using this to define and fill my lips and creating a color base like this really helps your lip color last longer here are a few suggestions i've got magnetic by faces i've got fresh by laura mercier and also a lip gloss favorite which is force of nature by bobby brown i absolutely love these oil infused glosses and i love a slightly glossy finish I think it really adds to the whole dewy look and it also just gives your lips a healthier, slightly plumper appearance. So I have used Fresh by Laura Mercier and on top of that I'm adding a little bit of the Bobbi Brown gloss just in the center of my lips. And as a finishing touch I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus once again. This is not exactly a setting spray so it doesn't leave any kind of film or residue on your skin. It just feels nice and hydrating and gives your skin a healthy, uh, slightly dewy look. And that is the finished look. Soft rosy pinks are my favorite color family. These are the shades I gravitate to uh, for everyday makeup and I hope you enjoyed this look and you will try it out yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!